strategy going to this fight, knowing what you were going to be editing style of your career? Well, actually, I know that I knew that in not, not only me, but my, my team of people, we knew that we were going to have a tough, a tough opponent. We knew that he was going to be quick, he, he's very intelligent, he's a super champ, he has a lot of experience, so we knew that we were up against him, one of the best guy in, in a featherweight category. And we, 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 we had to work hard. My team of people, Celso Chavez, my, 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 my senior, my dad, Joe Walters and Rudy Hernandez, those are some of the people that were in my corner. Sorry, I knew that we we had to we had to put in the extra the extra work, the extra hours in the gym and and everything and Donito we have nothing to take away from Donito yes I, yes I I knocked him out but he he caught good shots also and he I, I learned a lot from this fight he, he's a wonderful champion. There are a lot of guys still out there in the featherweight division. Which one would you like next? Well, actually. This is what I, I leave this, I leave the, the, the decision to my to my handlers, my manager, Mr. Jack Deschamps, and my my team of people. In, um, the axe man Nicholas is ready, is is willing and ready to fight every one of the champions. Whoever you put in front of him, I'm ready to fight. I always work hard, I always train hard for my fight. But you know, this is the decision of my my handlers. When, what I do do though, I I train hard and I fight hard. That's what I do. Nicholas. How satisfying is it after tons of professional fights, you land this big fight with Donaire and you knock him out? How does how do you feel right now? Actually, you know, it's it's a sweet and sweet and sad moment. I am at the same time because you know, honestly, in, to say that Donito is one of my favorite champ. He's a great puncher, just like I am a great puncher. He's a great puncher, intelligent guy, excited fighter, right? So in, it was always is always. Nice to fight, I'm excited fighter. But beating Donier, beating Donier, one, one, which is one of my favorite fighters. When growing up, I mean, growing up in boxing in my younger career, I always look at these guys fighting, look at Donier fighting, and I always say, wow, excellent, tremendous fighter. And knowing that I have to fight him tonight, you know, it's like beating him is, is, is good, nice for me to win a, a fight like this. But even the guy that I beat, you know, he's one of my favorite fighters, so it's a bittersweet moment. But even though him, I have nothing to take, as I said, I have nothing to take away from Daniel. He gave me an excellent fight, and there's a lot I have to, you know, I have to go back I have to go back with him. Donita, he must definitely he help me in, in, in my young career. You said you got caught a couple of times by Donito's punches. It uh, almost never happened in your previous fights. How did you, you, how did you react, and uh, which punches get you? You know, actually, actually, as I say, Donito is a top class opponent. Very top class champion, not pony, but a top class champion. So you know, I knew that other guy, shot that other guy is not gonna catch me. Donito is gonna catch me because he's swift, he's swift, he's smart, he's intelligent. So you know, when I got caught, when I got caught, and I went back to my corners, I could just look at my coach's face, and they were like, they never saw me get caught this this way, and I could see the worry on their face, and I was telling them, I was saying to Charles, says to Charles, Charles, are you okay? I'm like. He said to me, Todo está bien, todo está bien. ¿Cómo está yo? Yeah, everything is good. I'm good, I'm good. And he, he's moving real quick. I can see the nervousness in his face. And I'm like, Chave, con calma, con calma. I'm good, I'm good. So, you know, he, he come with a good shot in the second round. But I, I, I fully recovered from the shot in like maybe like 10 to 15 seconds. I was over the shot and I was okay. And just relax and just knowing that, I'm, you know, I'm... When he caught me the shot, they, funny enough, when he caught me the shot, I was sitting in, the, when I was sitting in the corner, I was smiling my, to myself. I said, you know what? I let myself get that shot. I, I made him bait me, and then he, he did something that I normally do to other fighters. And I was like, oh, stupid of me to make him catch me the shot, and I normally do guys that thing, you know? So it was good, though. It was great. It was a great, wonderful like, experience. I am, I am, when I fight, I fight to enjoy myself, and that's what I did tonight. I enjoy myself. Thank you very much. In, sorry, could you rephrase that question? What kind of rage would you give yourself to raise fight? But, you know what? Fighting Donaire, as I say in, 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 in previous interviews, I said, fighting Donaire is definitely, beating Donaire, beating Donaire is definitely going to be an A. But if you want the A+, you definitely have to stop him. You definitely have to, have to knock him out. And that's what I went, I went in. I told everybody, from, I said, I'm not going to make the prediction what round I'm going to stop in, but I'm definitely working for the A+. I'm not going for the A. I'm going for the A+. It's twice in my, twice in my, my, my young career, I said that to myself. When I was fighting Dolly Prescott in, in Jamaica for the World title, I said to myself, 
this guy is a great guy, and I'm not gonna go for the A, beating him in my place. I'm not going to go for A, but I'm going to go for A+. Plus. And I stopped him in the seventh round, and it was an A+. Plus. Fighting down here tonight, I said, I'm not going for the A, but I'm going for the A+. Plus. And uh, I stopped him also to get the A+. Plus tonight. Nicolás, unas palabras en español. Dímelo. Bueno, mira, esta pelea es muy importante para mí, porque mira, mi carrera de hacha es en joven, jovencito, todavía, mira, 20, 25, 25 en pelea, 25 ganadas con 21 en acá, pero está jovencito todavía, mira, pero gracias a Don para esta oportunidad, para, para mí, para, ¿cómo dice? A presentar mi, mi talento al, al mundo, para la gente me ver esta gran presentación que, que yo, 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 yo lo paso a mi gente, ¿no? Y él, 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 él tiene, yo aquí ganar a Ariel, él es un hombre verdadera guerrero porque él llegue y con fuego y bueno él tira su mano y, y sale y con fuego tira el puño y bueno me coge una mano bueno y yo me mío también y bueno aprende bastante en este pelea voy para para ahora y tiene mucho para mucho para ir para llevarme otra pelea porque él me ayuda mucho en este pelea Nicholas, it seemed like you could have missed with the jab, especially as the rounds progressed. Were you surprised how easy it was to land a jab? Is that something that, did you see something, or was that something you prepared in camp? Actually, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys, in, I like to keep my career, and I don't know, in, remember, in, I fight, I fight in about three or four fights out of the out of Panama or maybe five or six fight out of Panama. A lot of guys doesn't really know me in the in the public. Just they're just getting first time on HBO. They're just getting to know me, know my career. Um I can, don't don't even consider myself um, as a puncher that's going out there swinging punches. You see that um, I have good boxing techniques. Um, I've been in the boxing I've been in boxing no more fears. I started at very ten days so um, the job Definitely have a very quick job as I, as I as I I stated in this fight. Very quick job, and um, the job was working perfectly tonight. And I constantly use it. I I caught him with an uppercut. I caught him with an uppercut, and that that was the punch. If you were, if you watched the fight, I could remember clearly. But when I caught him with the uppercut, he started bleeding. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start him hit the cut with the job. And I start working the job. And I have a piston like job. And I was working the job all night. Just working the job, working the job. Because my coach always says. Um, the job set everything's up, and that's what my manager always say also. Mr. Jack Desham, he's not here tonight, unfortunately, he may say, but he always says, the job set everything up, and we just work after the job. Nicholas, do your dreams and, and ambitions extend outside of the ring? Like, are you looking to inspire people with your story, your journey? Well, you know what? My, my story my story has inspired a lot of people. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very grateful of that. Um, if I, whenever I do get the opportunity to express and to express or to share my my life story, I do share my life story. In, everybody know him. I'm from Jamaica, born in Jamaica, and grew up off the street and everything. And, but that doesn't say in, you're gonna you're not gonna turn out to be somebody in life. You know, in, that only make the struggle more hard and the, the, the glory and the, the, the victory more sweeter. In, when when you do get through it. Well, actually, you know, when he got cut, when he got cut, I am. It was it was not a an headbutt or an elbow. It was a clear uppercut that I caught him with. So I constantly go for the cut. I constantly going for the cut, and I knew that if if I if if I can hit if I can hit the target if I can hit the cut. Round after round, it's gonna be a problem to me. You have to that you have to start thinking about the cut, start it covering up. So he's not gonna have the time enough to really think about think about maybe hitting me with certain combination. But you have a lot of problem with with the cut and with me going to the going sorry him for that cut. He would have a lot of problem. I knew that I knew that he was gonna have a lot of problem fighting me tonight. I know he was gonna have a lot of problem because he, I got myself in tip top shape and condition for this fight. I knew that I was gonna fight an excellent fighter and if I'm gonna if, if it's gonna be an HBO why not make it a big show? You don't have a mark on your face, not on scratch. Tell us <laughs> I like keeping I like keeping it that way. If, if you watch most of my fights, you watch most of my fights, 
I'm like in my fights normally. Yeah, I, I I came out of my fights not lose, not main busted up. Him, I tend to get a game. As I say, if you listen to my interviews that I gave before, I always say that there is a way to knock guys out. There's always a way. And I'm gonna find a way. Whoever that's a statement to all my opponents that in that I'm gonna fight the next guys that I'm gonna fight. They need to know that fighting me, there's always a way, and I'm gonna find a way. Okay, thanks Thank everybody. We're gonna do some one-on-ones now. We're gonna do some one-on-ones.